So welcome, uh, Shinpei Yamashita. Is that correctly yeah, spelled? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank You've you very much. You've come uh, far away. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah it's long trip. Good to have you here. Your company is Sumitomo. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about uh, how long it's been around and what uh, what it stands okay. for? Yeah. Uh, so Sumitomo uh, was originally founded about 400 years ago in Japan. Uh, and since then it has evolved into a huge conglomerate. And the company I belong to is called Sumitomo Corporation, uh, which is the trading company part of Sumitomo. And they, there are about 40 odd Sumitomo companies in the world, and they're all uh, financially independent, uh, but we share a common identity. Mm -hmm. And like I said, Sumitomo Corporation is the trading part, by which I mean we buy and sell, or uh, invest in the production of on uh, almost every kind of um, commodities and materials you can think of, mm -hmm. uh, like metal products, uh, natural resources, um, automotive products, uh, and uh, aerospace, uh, mm -hmm. real estate, and so on. And you're moving more and more into clean tech now. Uh, we have, of the seven business units, uh, the one I belong to is concentrating on building new businesses for Sumitomo. And a trading company's mission is always to build new businesses. And our focus, main focus in that business unit is clean tech. Yeah. So and, what's your role here? And so my role specifically is to act as the venture investment platform mm -hmm. on behalf of all of Sumitomo Corporation uh, to make invest, uh, investments into startups all over the world. Mm -hmm. And my mission within that department is to focus on clean tech companies. Mm -hmm. So what companies are you looking for uh, more based on technology, design? So right now I'm looking f mainly for technologically differentiated companies uh, who, can, who has a potential to result in new trading business uh, for Sumitomo uh, mm -hmm. several years down the line. Yeah. And the areas I would be, look for are various parts of clean energy such mm -hmm. as photovoltaics, mm -hmm. biofuels, uh, batteries, uh, fuel cells, and um, methane, um, geo. Yes, or? well, G geo may perhaps, methane perhaps, um, mm -hmm. and also uh, in part of some power efficiency plays such as um, LED and related technologies. Mm -hmm. There are some amazing LED now. It's these yes. things you can bend and you can even apply on your wall. Yes, that could it's be coming in a few years. Yeah, it would be um, nice to yes. have a, a changing uh, movie on your wall. You mm -hmm. can be on the beach or... <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. The, yeah, the lighting is going through a big revolution, the kind that does not, has not happened in 100 years. So right. um, my, one of my missions is to make investments to take advantage of this paradigm shift. So can you tell me a bit about the mission? What is the main goal? Uh, sure. Uh, well, my mission... Uh, within Sumitomo, like I said, is to build an uh, investment portfolio that results in new business for Sumitomo. And Sumitomo wants to make business in what we call clean tech. Mm -hmm. And clean tech, of course, is a very vague word, uh, but we tend to define it as something that results in uh, less pollution, less carbon output, mm -hmm. um, less dependent on fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. and less impact on the environment. Yeah. Something that is more sustainable for ourselves and our uh, clients, our, our, our employees, mm -hmm. our customers. So other than uh, looking for startups, is it uh, useful for you to be here to meet other companies? Yes, I'm in the job of uh, doing venture investment, but I do network with people who uh, are interested in doing business with Sumitomo down the line. So my job is to connect them with relevant resources within Sumitomo. Mm -hmm. Most of Sumitomo uh, businesses are doing trading businesses, uh, importing things into Japan or out of Japan, mm -hmm. uh, or operating uh, various businesses uh, in and out of Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want people within the clean tech community to work more with Sumitomo mm -hmm. and have you know, both of us uh, make money mm -hmm. and and contribute to uh, sustainable growth yeah. worldwide at the same time. And how is your uh, company's uh, sustainability management? 
sustainability management. Well, uh, we are trying to build businesses outside of our traditional uh, fossil fuel uh, mm -hmm. business, which is, of course, core and a key part of the Japanese economy. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are also trying to build this clean tech, clean tech practice mm -hmm. um, to help the Japanese co uh, economy uh, eventually uh, become less dependent. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I think that's our main crux of um, sustainability management. Mm -hmm. And you have you done point of view. audit on your own company to reduce? Um, I do not think so. Um, partly because we are a service company mm -hmm. as opposed to a manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. um, if you, so uh, it's, I think our, comp our business would be uh, less useful, mm -hmm. uh, but certainly uh, we do make an effort to, but we do make an effort mm -hmm. to be conscious of car uh, carbon output mm -hmm. and uh, Japanese companies for the last few decades have been extremely uh, conscious about uh, carbon output, mm -hmm. uh, not because of the CO2 control regimen, but because emitting CO2 costs money. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes from fossil fuels, which is expensive to procure in Japan. Mm -hmm. So the Japanese industry has been trying hard for decades to reduce fuel consumption, be mm -hmm. efficient, yeah. and uh, as a result, the Japanese economy is one of the least carbon uh, intense mm -hmm. in the world already. So in that sense, uh, I think Sumitomo's uh, clients and customers, mm -hmm. as well as Sumitomo itself, yeah. is make, has been making immense efforts to be uh, carbon light. Yeah. The earthquake now had some tragic consequences. Uh, what are the energy economy going to look like in Japan? That's a very interesting question, and I don't have any authoritative answers. One thing is for clear which is that uh, this nuclear disaster uh, will knock uh, at least some nuclear plants out of commission for some time to come, and this will result in a serious power shortage uh, to the Japanese economy. Yeah. So uh, Japan will either have to accept this power loss and shrink the economy, mm -hmm. which I don't think is going to happen, or uh, we will have to find other ways to generate electricity. Mm -hmm. And are other plants being closed down now? Um, well, so the nuclear power plants that that is uh, that uh, suffer from tsunami uh, apparently is going to be closed. Uh, others, uh, some of the others are under ins inspection. Some of the others are still running. And while there's, uh, I don't think there's any immediate move to close the ones that are still running, mm -hmm. uh, both the ruling and opposition party have agreed, as far as I know at this uh, uh, today, mm -hmm. uh, that there won't be any new ones built in the near future. So um, something has to be done to supply the power that the nuclear power plants were producing. Mm -hmm. And maybe in the short term, this will have to be fossil fuels. Um, which goes against the Japanese government's policy of uh, reducing CO2 output, but mm -hmm. it's better than leaving people without lighting and housing. Uh, yeah. But um, perhaps in the longer term, the government may have to accelerate the move to clean, uh, move to clean energy. Mm -hmm. uh, the government's policy uh, that was set in 2009 was to uh, derive 10% of primary energy from clean tech by 2020. Mm -hmm. Uh, clean, by clean, I mean re renew, uh, renewable sources, yeah. uh, and they may have to accelerate this or even expand it. Uh, again, I don't know what's going to happen because uh, since the quake, mm -hmm. the government has not had any time to discuss uh, right. these longer term uh, prospects. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, one direction that the Japanese government will have to uh, consider. Mm -hmm. Japan hasn't uh, been looking so much outward for new technology. They have a lot, uh, they keep a lot to themselves and they don't uh, mm. search the, the market. Uh, do you have any uh, inputs on this? I don't think that's necessarily the case. Um, although Japanese companies um, do have a strong tendency to look inward, mm -hmm. I think that's true for many uh, multinational big companies. 
not just Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, it is true that Japanese companies do need to do, uh, do need to work more to do uh, external innovations mm -hmm. and uh, work more with startups. Uh, they are already trying to some extent. I work with uh, engineers mm -hmm. um, at some of the big Japanese companies yeah. who are trying to do external uh, source external innovation. Yeah. So it does happen, uh, but I think there's room to do more. How is the strategy for startups? Uh, there's very few uh, ways of, of getting funding in Japan, uh, or does the mechanism work differently? The venture capitals uh, do exist in Japan, and you can get funding from them. Mm -hmm. uh, but the amount of funding uh, that venture uh, the startups receive from venture capitals in Japan mm -hmm. is significantly smaller than what, it, what you see in uh, Europe, US, China. Yeah. So, and this has uh, to do with the, I don't want to say culture because that's a very vague word, but it has to do with um, the Japanese equity market, which mm -hmm. is very poor. Uh, Japan did have a much bigger venture investment market uh, before the stock market went down. Mm -hmm. um, and also has to do with the uh, venture community's inability to secure top level, uh, uh, top class talent, mm -hmm. uh, especially young talent. So how do they get promoted? Do they enter companies individually and start uh, projects within companies or? Who's they? As it, the innovative. Uh, I think many of them um, do have projects within big companies. Mm -hmm. uh, just like they do in uh, Europe or the United States, mm -hmm. uh, and probably more so than in uh, Europe or U.S., mm -hmm. uh, because it's easier to get funding and get uh, per staffing in big companies. But there are, but there are plenty of people who want to do entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship in Japan. The problem is has more to do with um, the ability of the supporters to build an infrastructure around them. Uh, we don't have uh, venture capitals who are able to take an idea and an entrepreneur and assemble an entire team of management around them. Okay. Uh, we don't have uh, venture capitals with deep pockets who can take them through that process. We don't have a pool of professional venture, uh, startup managers mm -hmm. who go from company to company uh, making this one, growing this one to IPO level, moving to another one and growing it, mm -hmm. and so on. There are a number of people like that mm -hmm. um, elsewhere, elsewhere in the world. But is but, it changing now? Do you adapt uh, the um, Western model? Or? We will have to. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I don't see a big change yet, no. but these things always happen bef before you realize it's happening. Mm -hmm. It's all happening very fast, I think. Mm. So. Let's hope for the best. Thank you so much Thank you. for coming. Thank you very much. Great having you here.